gold from it, you won't get the XP from it. You're gonna be under leveled. Used to be a problem. Whoa, big fight here. But it's going in our favor. We got a couple of kills in there. And Akali's up here. Oh, hits a mushroom. That's too bad. Wish we could have seen the rest of the action. Looks like they do get Gragas down. And I think we lost one person in that engagement, but otherwise her team's going good. Kali's going back. She's got lots of health now. Like, look at the hit points. Getting that giant belt for the Rileys is really making her a lot tankier. Is going to enable her to tower dive, uh, since she can get in so quickly. And in fact, she can get out pretty quickly, too. If there are enemy minions around that she can target with her ultimate, she can use that to escape out of tower range. Very effectively. I think this tower is going to go down. I don't think there's anything the other team can do about it. Malazar has come back, but no, there's nothing he can do. The team's there. If he sticks around to engage, I think he's going to get stunned. Timo is even squishier. He's only level 9, but no, they're having to pull back here. Oh! No, at that point, there's starting to be too many of the opponents, and it's actually too bad they didn't get the tower down. Kali is going to escape. Which is very good of her to get out there. She's got a great score going on. Uh, looks like 302, so she's got a killing spree. She doesn't want to give up that gold. Now, Ezreal here, I think, is making a mistake. His, the rest of his team is not around. He cannot engage safely. But at the same time, Akali won't want to engage, just in case the other team gets there on time. Especially since it takes... It's hard to kill Ezreal, and you will be forced to chase him at some point. And you don't want to chase him into something. Okay, Mumu goes in, initiates with his ultimate. Looks like Gragas is going to go down pretty fast. He's incredibly underfed, underleveled. Yeah, another enemy going down. Shin gets taken out. Amumu does go down. This is what I'm talking about, although that worked out pretty well. And we are going to get probably another kill right here. I don't think there's any way for Ezreal to get away. Especially, yeah. Oh, he, she doesn't have her, uh, her Riley Scepter down. My bad. If she did, there was literally no way. But when she was able to catch up after his blink, and she still had stacks, on her ultimate left over, and there was nothing that uh, that he could do to get the hell out of there. Uh, Malazar has got to be kind of careful here if Tarek is able to get his stun off. This guy, excuse me. Oh, clearly this game is so boring. I'm yawning here. I'm just exhausted. I'm going to have a nap after this. It sucks being sick. I hate it. Uh. So, 2,500 gold, lots of money saved up, finishes the Rileys. God, that's such a good item. And what are we getting next? Are we going to get some AP items? Nope, we are going to get... Oh, yeah, some more AP items. I said the wrong thing. So she's picked up another Blasting Wand. Nice extra boost to her AP. So her, it, she is stacking AP so that her abilities hit harder. And I think this is what I see most commonly. I mean, you sort of give a nod to the... Uh, to the AD by getting the uh, Ginsu's Rage Blade, but I'm pretty sure I see most people stacking AP at that point. And especially with that Rileys, I mean, God, that survivability is just so key. It gives you so much, it's unbelievable. Oh, looks like maybe they've caught someone in the bush going after their red buff. Nope, just pinging that someone should come and get it. I think Vlad was uh, was killing these creeps, and he was like, well, I don't want the red buff. Why don't you come and get it, Shaco? Always very nice to see that kind of teamwork. You know, let the buffs go to the people who could use it the most. Akali could actually do it, do pretty well with it. Oh, I'm starting to get stuffed up. Need some Kleenex. Oh, ho, ho, that is death. Oh, so bad. I don't think that Gragas is a good player. I mean, he's died a lot. He's underleveled. Which, I mean, it happens, right? That It happens to everyone at some point. You get screwed early on and then people keep feeding on you. But what are you doing running around the river solo? Like, ridiculous. I think he was level 9 and Akali's level 17. I, and I think there's uh, Vlad is 18 and... Wow, even Ezreal's only 14. Yeah, this is being absolute dominance. There's nothing the other team can do at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if they're a little bit more conscious of the situation, they would just GG at this point. It, I don't know, maybe it's not so one-sided. Uh, I mean, I guess we have had a fair number of deaths on the RCI too, but at this point, 
I just looking at the game kind of objectively from this point of view, I gotta feel so confident. I mean, maybe the other team can win the team fight, and that would be a pretty big deal, but we haven't even lost a single one of our towers. Now, granted, we haven't gone deep into their territory either, but we've gotten a couple of them down, maybe three of them down. Akali is just going to be able to single target down anyone she chooses in any fight. She's just going to be able to burst down anyone she wants. Ezreal's a little exposed, if they can get him. Nice! She ults in, Akali ults in, is able to slow him, slow him with the Rileys, which allows Terra to get off his stun, although I don't think they realize there's quite so many people around them. She's going for a song? No. Lichman. Alright. Well, Vlad's able to salvage that a little bit by finishing off Shin. I think that came, so I think that came out mostly neutral, but I mean, definitely not ideal. Plus, it broke uh, Akali's killing spree. I, actually, not not just killing spree, but like I don't know, legendary or something. It looks like she gave up a thousand gold. That sucks. So yeah, it looks like Akali is working on the Lich Bane. Really, really good item for this kind of setup. Of, of course, if you don't know. Uh, Lich Bane is basically, just like Sheen, you cast a spell and on your next melee attack you're going to do bonus damage. Um, Sheen basically just does double damage, but uh, the Lich Bane will uh, increase your next hit by an amount equal to your AP. So again, you're stacking AP, but you've got kind of a hybrid character. Well, that's not even a hybrid character. You stack AP and you use this to ensure that your auto attack is going to be pretty effective. Uh, it's most effective on someone who's probably going to be spamming abilities uh, fairly often. And one thing to note, the latest patch did change the functionality of the um, of the, the Lich Bane and Sheen and Triforce a little bit on how it works because it had some sort of cooldown before but it didn't really come out. Now it's just a flat two second cooldown. So basically uh, for the on next hit proc to work, you want to cast a spell, then wait two seconds before you cast another spell, and then wait two seconds before you cast another spell. Big team fight here. Uh, Akali's just going to run right in, even though there's so many of them around. They're distracted, they're busy chasing like Tarek and stuff like that, who's much tougher, and she's just able to come in, and we quickly get three kills, I believe. And Gragas has got to be careful here. Level 10 Gragas. Oh, yeah. It looked like he turned around for a second, but he may have gotten hit by something that, that sort of stopped him. I don't know. He gets taken out super fast, and right now all he's doing is feeding. Like, there's nothing Gragas can do at all. He he can't uh, he can't lane, because he'll just get ganked. I don't think it's safe for him to be in the jungle, he's just going to get ganked. You can't just stay in his base, because then he'll never get an XP and get better. Like, yeah. It's game over, man. Game over. You guys should just GG surrender. I guess it's not even 25 minutes. I just looked at the time. It's like gonna hit 25 minutes in two seconds. Yeah, that's what it looks like, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to read. I think we got a tower down there. Again, I don't know the German, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Oh, it looks like they just tried a surrender vote, but it didn't go through. If I'm reading that correctly. Well, now they're talking about it's 4v5. Is it actually 4v5? Or are they just talking about the fact that... That Gragas is solo? Oh! Yeah, yeah, that's, now they're saying 4v5 would be nice. They're, they're complaining that Gragas has fed too much. And it's true, I mean, he has. He's given up, like, so much power, and they'd almost do better 4v5, but... It's game over. Surrender. I don't know why you'd be going after the dragon at this point. Yeah, it's still some nice team goal, but uh, you're not really getting the XP value out of it. I mean, I guess it's fine. It's never a bad thing. If your team isn't pushing, then, you know, what else are you going to be doing with yourself? But... There's less of an advantage at this point. It's still nice, you know, if you've got the opportunity, but don't stress quite as much once everyone on your team is 18. This is the way I feel. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. You do still get gold. And Akali still, you know, hasn't finished her build yet. 
She's going to want to get that Lich Bane at least. And Malazar is going to be super careful there. Oh, just enough gold now. To, well, not, not just enough, actually. More than enough gold to get her Lich Bane. And then I suspect she will sell her Doran's shield. Oh, she doesn't need to yet. Bleib konzentriert. I think she's picked up, what's it called, the excessively large rod or something silly like that. The big AP item, she's going to be making Azonia's next. Again, just stacking as much AP as she can. Plus, the uh, the active on there is pretty decent, if she ever does get focused. Although, I think Kali's got enough escape tools that that's, she's not getting it for the active. She's mostly getting it for the huge AP boost. in, trying to flank, checking bushes here. Oh, ho, ho, what a find! Again, you know, just keep feeding on that Gragas. And Timo's gonna go down, and... Oh, they're definitely gonna finish this off as well. There's no escape. Easily take down this uh, inhibitor. And it looks like the game is just about over, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I suspect they will surrender, or the Nexus is gonna be a push right here. There's a surrender. Hope you like this Akali game. I certainly did. Very exciting. And thanks again uh, for sending in the replays, guys. Keep it up, and I will keep doing it.